let's move on. I think people were shocked that I didn't take your pick, which ended up being third overall. Uh, I think people were shocked that I didn't take him second because Brian Kelly had won the SEC West the previous year, right after, right before we basically did this draft. So you took him third overall. I do think that that was a really good pick. All right. I mean, you got you're talking about a guy that has won everywhere he has been. Central Michigan, Cincinnati, Notre Dame, wherever he's been, he has won. Okay. And he's done fine recruiting wise, you know, uh, at LSU. I mean, at Notre Dame, he felt like that that was a limitation, which Marcus Freeman, who we'll talk about later, has kind of debunked a little bit. Um, but in terms of like LSU's recruiting rankings, they were sixth in 2019, fourth in 2020, fourth in 2021, seventh in 2022. Brian Kelly gets there sixth in 2023 and then i believe they finished seventh is that correct in the yes seventh yep um in the recruiting so yeah i mean he's doing a solid job recruiting there he's winning he just coached a heisman trophy winning quarterback um you are replacing an offensive coordinator um and a defensive coordinator for that matter so well i mean that was for the probably for the better right um yeah, so LSU this past year, they finished first in the country in points per game, scoring an absolutely ridiculous 43.3 points per game. Their defense was a little not great, you know, struggles in the secondary and uh, a lack of depth on the defensive line kind of led to some explosive plays. 29.5 points per game allowed, uh, which is about 86th in the country, so right in that range, so... Not fantastic year in terms of, uh, I think, what the expectations were for some people. I certainly had my expectations higher. Uh, I did take their over, uh, what I believe was nine and a half wins. That's what that was. So I had high hopes, but they still actually did a really good job this season. And they got a lot of talent going into the next year. I think there's a lot to look forward to. They still went 10 and three this year, you know, with the bowl game win over Wisconsin. They got a quarterback that's being potentially looked at as a first rounder already in his limited snaps, a great offensive line. So it, it'll it be interesting to see, man. Uh, what were your thoughts on this Brian Kelly pick by you? And then also let me ask you, would you take him here again? Or like what range would you take him? Would you draft him if we were to do this again? I would have taken him over Lincoln Riley, who I took in the first round there. Um, I think in hindsight, I do think I was almost a little too high on Kelly. I think third, third to fourth is a very good spot for him. You could argue – DeBoer, Elko, Freeman is in that next tier. Um, I think just below Dan Lanning. I think Dan has kind of separated himself from the pack, at least in terms of what he's building up his program to be long-term success-wise uh, in the short, like like as of right now. Uh, but I do think what Brian Kelly did um, this offseason was it's, it's just awesome. Like defensively, um, at, like you said, adding the new staff, Blake Baker and Bo Davis are two headliner names that obviously if, if you're an SEC fan or a big time college football fan, you understand how important that is for recruiting wise and just for pure scheme and how much they struggled last year. I mean, if you told me last year, hey, you took Brian Kelly and his quarterback won the Heisman Trophy, I was about to go ringing the bell. I'm like, oh, that that's my guy. Probably winning the national title, or at least in the playoff conversations. And they really weren't for for a long time there. Because of that defensive struggles, he identifies that right away and, and makes a change, a drastic change, and one I think it's going to really work out for. And also, I think underrated higher is you mentioned the secondary struggling so much. You come back and you add Corey Raymond, a guy who is a Louisiana legend, right? A guy that has been at an LSU program, who's a player at the LSU. And he Billy, when Billy Napier stole him a couple years ago when he was hired, that was a massive, massive news within the SEC. And he comes back to LSU, and he's really going to revitalize that room, I really believe so. Um, will it be in 2024? Don't know. It's yet to be seen, but I still think the future of this program is still in really good hands, even though the SEC is getting loaded and loaded and loaded. Yeah, Alabama seeming to replenish with Kalen DeBoer, having a really strong offseason as well. All things considering, Texas is obviously hitting on full or hitting on all, all wheels, and so is uh, Georgia as well. So I still think this Brian Kelly is going to really work out at LSU. And also, by the way, I will add, when he got to LSU and he was doing that fake accent and all this other stuff, and everyone's like, is he going to fit in the SEC? Is he going to fit in the SEC? Is he going to work in Louisiana? I mean, he just signed 18 of the top players in Louisiana, in the state of Louisiana. 
That is ridiculous in a very, very loaded class, including five star Don McKinley. I mean, that, that he was he's been awesome, I think, so far. Which he, he, which he flipped. Dis- flipped which from flipped. AM. Oh, was was it was last year disappointing? Yeah, sure. But you were also a bounce of a ball in a couple games. From, Ten wins. For, yeah. You can't be too disappointed with that. And I, I get it. LSU's got higher expectations, especially when you're off a national title game with Ed freaking Ogeron a couple years ago. Yes, that's totally fair. And they should be at high expectations. I still do think this program's heading in the right direction. And uh, I'm very excited to see what Brian Kelly can do there at LSU. Yeah, I mean, you're telling me. So after that national championship season, right, the 15-0 and with Ed Ogeron, they went 5-5 five and five and then 6-7. and seven. And you're telling me you inject Brian Kelly into this program and then all of a sudden you go 10 and 4 with an SEC West victory or winning the SEC West and then you go 10 and 3 with the you know you and you were competitive in in the SEC West for the most part um close loss to Ole Miss kind of maybe cost you a chance uh, of course you lost to Alabama so it wouldn't have mattered anyways but you know there's still they lose a chance to Missouri to too no, they beat Missouri who was their second uh, loss Florida State that's right, in the beginning of the year. Who, again, was a playoff team. So right. you, you lost. Well, playoff you lost caliber it. team <laughs> at that time. At playoff that time. contender. Yeah. yeah People they, are going to be mad. I, <laughs> That's Florida State man, fans that are in here are going to be pissed. It's still, but, still fresh, fresh wound. Yeah, I, I, I think if I had to give myself, I would probably give myself a minus. I mean, I think this is a pretty solid pick with the board that was on there. Looking back, I mean – you got to be pretty excited with what with, with Brian Kelly can do. I think you kind of just got to ignore – like progress is not linear, right? I think that's what I kind of was assuming. It was like, oh, he went 10-4. and four. He won the SEC title or the SEC West in year one. He returns a lot of those key pieces. But I, I think there was a couple holes that I kind of ignored, like I said, defensively. And I was like, oh, he's just going to get better. They they put in a, put in a bunch of transfers and none of them worked. And so that was kind of the downfall yeah. uh, of this year's team. Yeah, I think you drafted him in right about the appropriate range. If you were to ask me, like, if we were to do this again, drafting these same coaches, now we wouldn't, of course, because some of these guys got new jobs. But if we were to redraft these coaches or these these specific 14 coaches, I would uh, – I'd put Brian Kelly probably in this range, right around three, two, yeah. three, four. You know, so I think you kind of nailed that.